Hi, this is Chet with Chet's Termite and Pest Management. Right now, I'm up underneath the house. It's got a crawl space under here. And what happened is we found the termite evidence on the outside of the house. So what we did is we crawled underneath the house, and I thought this would be a perfect time to do a little video demonstration so that way I could educate you on how termites wind up destroying homes. What happens is whether you got a concrete slab or in this case we're a crawl space, termites are underneath your house everywhere just like fish swimming underneath the bottom of the water in say a pond, right? You don't know exactly where they're at, but if you drained the pond you'd be able to see right where all the water was or if you had glasses that with x-ray vision you could look down there and spot everywhere a fish was. We do the same thing once we crawl underneath the house. Now we're underneath this house right here and it's probably got about 250 lineal feet. There's a bunch of zigzags and all these other block walls and stuff that we come down here. What happens is the termites come up out of the ground and they build a brown mud tube. Imagine having a big pen, the old fashioned big pens that were clear plastic and inside you could see the blue ink. In this case what's happened right over here is the termites have built a mount of mud. They've used their mud and they hook this up like a highway just like we get around in our cars and this is a massive one if you look over here you see this mud tube here that's a normal size one which is usually about the size of your pinky finger and from there they came out of the ground they worked that tube up and they got up here see this metal this metal you see running all along here that's called a termite shield it's supposed to keep the termites out like having a locked gate well that's a myth because what they do is you see right here is they literally went right around that and they build that mud tube right here and they just clogged a bunch of mud up like building a bridge and went right over the top of this termite shield and got up here and started eating this wood. This is the man's floor and all his floor joists down here and what they've done is they steady keep bringing that mud up just like a fish would have to have water to keep moving down the canal they have to have this mud and what they're doing all day every day 24 hours a day is they're traveling just like we do on the highways just like us being on the interstate and stuff and they come back down through these mud tubes they go back down there and they feed the other termites that are living underground and then they turn around and they come right back up the mud tubes get up here bring more mud and extend the highway so then what happens there is they're able to keep eating the wood so all the subterranean termite damage starts in the ground and they build the mud tubes and they come up. Sometimes they'll come up to the middle of the block and what we do when we get underneath here we have a hole every eight inches and what we're doing is putting a hole in the center of the block so when we put the material down there any termites up here that try to get back in the ground are going to pick this material up on them and they will wind up being infected kind of like if you got a fish and injected him with the red tide virus and put him back in the water he would spread it all throughout so you wouldn't have to catch every fish you only got to infect a certain amount so what we've done underneath here is we've dug a trench all along here. What we do is we come down here and it's like creating a moat around the castle. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to put a liquid barrier all in here. And then that liquid barrier is going to bind to the soil. We're going to do the same thing on the other side of the block on the outside of the house. We do that all the way around the outside and if you've got a crawl space we crawl up under here and we do it under here. So no matter where they're at they have to get back in the ground to get moisture or they'll dry up and dehydrate. The same principle if you got a fish and you threw him up on the bank once he used up what moisture he had he would dehydrate and die. Same principle is going to happen here except here's how this works. As these termites are going up and down through this mud tube they're going to get in the ground and they're going to get infected. They're going to carry that infection to all the other termites that are up underneath this house, all under the ground under here, no matter where they're at, they'll be infected. Now, they're not going to die right away. It's going to take a, a few weeks to a month. So what's going to happen now is they're going to climb back up through these tunnels and they're contaminating that whole space. Just like if you had anthrax on the back of your car tire, somebody put it in your driveway, every street you drove down you would contaminate it. Everybody else who drove down that street would get it on their tires and they would spread it. So what's going to happen, we're done here, we're going to have a protective barrier and this, these termites are going to transfer the material to the other termites and that's going to kill them all, it's going to keep them out. Then once we've eliminated these, anytime some new termites try to come up from underground, they got to pass this barrier, they'll pick up the material, it'll kill them. Then when the termites from the trees, fences, and the other people's houses around here fly and swarm to mate, they're going to land in this ground and try to start a new colony. They won't be able to because they're going to get the material on them and it's going to wind up killing them. But look how big this mud tube is right here. Just to give you an idea, up here it's, it's literally wider than what my fist is. It's wider than that. Normal one is the pinky. This is normal. This is massive. 
So what happened on these tubes right here, see you don't normally see that, but like when you pop these open like that, they'll be full of termites all in there and they're coming out of the ground. So what we do right here, this is just some mud right here that they brought up. Look at that big mud. See, that they use that to make these mud tubes. So what we do when we get under here, we also scrape all this down. And again, remember I told you how we're creating a moat around the bottom here? Same principle as a moat around the castle. Well, we scrape all this mud tubes off. So if we ever come back and we do our annual inspection, and if that was hooked back up again, we know that the termites be alive. All the termite work that we do at Chet's Termite Management comes with a one-year money-back guarantee. Should live termites reinfest this place in the first year, I give the homeowner all their money back and we would do the job for free. Nobody in the industry offers you a guarantee like that. If you ask for one, they'll laugh at you because they'll think it's ridiculous because they don't believe in the caliber of work they're doing. Even as I'm the owner of the company, been doing this for 43 years, I still go out in the field, do quality work, and everybody who works at Chet's Termite Pest Management has been personally trained by me, so that way they'll know what they're looking for, they'll know how to do a quality job each and every time, and that way you got zero risk and you get total peace of mind that your termites will be totally eliminated. My name's LeVon Hughes. I, uh, I had Chuck come in to do some other work for me a couple of years ago, and I needed some uh, ticks got rid of. I called him, he came in and did a good job. So you happy? I'm happy. Would you refer me to somebody else? In an instant. You could use me for some other service, like a tent job or my yes, job? Yes, absolutely. So you, like, yeah. I, like I told Harry, if I need a tent job, I'll call you. Okay, I'm uh, glad you're happy. If you haven't had yourself a termite inspection, call my office at 935-7554 and ask one of the girls in the office to set you up an appointment. We'll come out, we'll do a free inspection, it won't cost you a dime. That's what this gentleman did here that owns this house. You heard about me through referral. We came out to do an inspection not knowing what we were going to find. Crawled around, we found this, and then we found some termites in a few other spots. So now we're nipping it in the bud so they don't do no more destruction on his home. Call my office right now while you're thinking about it. You'll be glad you did.